Today we're diving into a beginner's guide on how to mod city skylines. There are a couple of ways to search the workshop for mods. Obviously you can use the Steam Launcher and search through the city skylines workshop by coming over to your library and clicking on workshop. For me personally though, I don't feel like this is the best experience for browsing, especially with multiple tabs. A lot of mods require dependencies that we'll get into later. So for me, it's much easier to come into my browser and just use the tab method. Remembering the URL for the city skylines workshop is a pain, so I've created the simulation.com com slash cities workshop. This will take you directly to the Steam site where you can view and search through all of the mods. It's usually a best practice, especially if you're new to modding, to only add one or two mods at a time, especially when you don't necessarily know how every mod works. So to search for a mod, it's obviously very simple. Just search for the mod on the City Skylines Steam Workshop. Once you've found the mod you want to install, go ahead and click on it from the search results, and you'll see down here that you can subscribe to the mod. So the Move It mod is a great one to start with because it doesn't have any dependencies. Now, if a mod has a dependency, that simply means that it has another mod that is required in order for it to work correctly. So for this mod, Ploppable Rico Revisited 2.5, it does require an additional mod in order for it to work. If it requires any other item, it will display down here under required items. And this one requires the Harmony mod dependency. The dependencies are required for the mod to work correctly, but they usually don't take up too many more additional resources, and you don't really have to configure them in any way once they're enabled in the game. So to add the mod to your game, it's extremely simple. If you're not subscribed to a mod, you will see a button right here that says subscribe. It'll have a little plus where I have the little check mark. Once you have subscribed to the mod and any dependencies it may require, jump back over to your Steam library and open up your game. Now once you're in the City Skylines launcher, you're not going to want to hit resume. Just because you've subscribed to a mod doesn't mean it's automatically enabled. What we need to do from this point is hit play. Once you've loaded into City Skylines, what we need to do from this point is open up the Content Manager. Now, if you've used this tutorial to add assets, your assets do usually auto-enable, and you can find those simply by clicking on Assets. But because this tutorial is about mods, we need to go to the Mods section. Now, if you have quite a bit of mods, one of the easiest ways to sort them is to come by Sort By and choose Enabled, and from that point, choose Descending. This is going to show usually your most recently added mods, or at least all of the mods that haven't been enabled. Yet. So for this tutorial's example, let's say we did install that Rico Revisited mod. All we need to do if we can't see it up here is search for Rico Revisited. And as you can see, by just typing in a few letters, we already have the result that we're looking for. In order to ensure that a mod's enabled, all we need to do is make sure that the box is blue instead of being grayed out. But wait, hold up. If you remember just a minute ago, we talked about the mod dependencies and for Rico Revisited, it was the Harmony mod dependency. To search for that, all we need to do is check and make sure that Harmony is enabled. From that point, all we need to do is head over and load into our game and ensure that our mod is working. So once you've enabled the mod and loaded into the game, you should be able to see the new icon or the new features that the mod enables. So for this example, we were using Ploppable Rico Revisited, and this icon is right down in the bottom right corner of the screen. So we're pretty much good to go there. Now, if you ever wanna change mod settings, you don't necessarily have to back out to the main menu of your game. You can click the settings in the top right corner click options and find the mod that you wanna change some of the settings for. So from this point on, it's all about testing and playing with your newly installed mods. And last but not least, I wanna point out that when you want to delete a mod fully from your game, let's say for example, a patch has come out and it has broken a mod, you need to completely remove the mod from your game, not just deactivate it. To do that, all you would need to do is disable the mod by making sure this box is gray, not blue. And then you can click on the City Skylines Workshop from here and you can unsubscribe by just clicking unsubscribe. That will completely remove the mod from your game because remember, just disabling a mod does not delete the files associated with the mod from your game. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video and if you're curious how to make your neighborhoods look more realistic, be sure to check out this video in the top right corner of the screen where we go over how to use mods to create cul-de-sacs for realistic neighborhoods and city skylines.